Hi, first graders. This is Mrs. Williams. This is week nine of foundational literacy, phonics fun, which can be found in your DCPS distance learning packets. Our objective this week is to increase reading fluency by practicing word phrases. Let's get started. This week is going to look a little different in that there is an activity that you'll be using throughout the week. Your parents can help you with it to help you become better and more fluent readers. All right, so this note is for your parents or caregivers. Becoming a skilled reader with a huge repertoire of sight words requires knowledge of phonemic segmentation, that's breaking words apart, letter sound correspondences, that is knowing the sounds that letters make, and spelling patterns. For example, we learned vowel consonant E last week. That's a spelling pattern. Using whole word memorization is an inefficient and very difficult way to acquire new sight words. So basically, memorizing sight words, most people don't remember sight words that way. Readers recall the sequence of letters, not the look of the word. We teach the sequence of letters through orthographic mapping, or the mental process used to turn unfamiliar written words inst into instantly accessible and familiar sight words. 95% of sight words are phonetically regular and can be sounded out. During week nine of distance learning and beyond, support your child by practicing the below phrases. When practicing these phrases, students should sound out or tap and blend unknown words using their knowledge of sounds and word parts. Here are some examples. The below are examples of ways that sight words can be sounded out, whether with regular or irregular sound rules. Let's look at regular words. Regular words have one-to-one -one correspondence. That means that each letter represents a sound. In this word, we have red. red. It sounds like it's spelled. It has three letters and three sounds. These are words that can be tapped out or said slowly. Our next column has opaque words. Opaque words are words without one-to-one -one correspondence. So for example, this word is side. We know our vowel consonant E pattern, so that's why we're able to decode this word, but I, d, the E doesn't have a sound. So it has four letters and three sounds. The E is silent in words with a vowel consonant E pattern. We know that. And then our last column covers irregular words. And these are words that are exceptions to sound rules. For example, this word we see all the time in books that we read. It is s, e, d, said. It has four letters and only three sounds. The A and the I make an eh sound. So we don't say s, a, i, d as we would with a regular word. We say said. These are words that we just need to know or remember. And the more we practice them, the more we'll recognize them. All right, let's get into our activity. You will find pages of word phrases that look like this in your packet. If you'd like to, you can cut them out um, and put them into a pile so that you can practice them with, like flashcards um, with your parent or caregiver. Um, what I will do is work with you on the first page um, through the phrases, and then I will let you do the rest on your own Give you some time to do that and then I'll come back and go over what the phrase is saying. Okay, so let's get into it. This first phrase is my new place. My new place. Take a little. Take a little. Only a little. Only a little. Hmm. Little is a word that doesn't really fit the patterns. So it's not a regular word, it's a sight word that we just need to know. And little comes up a lot in your reading. So little is a word that we are focusing on. Only a little. It's only me. It's only me. 
three years ago, three years ago, a good man, a good man, another great sound. Give it back, give it back. It's only a little. I know why. Live and play after the game. Remember, if you get to a word that you don't know, say it slowly. If it doesn't make sense, try again. Maybe there's a pattern or a rule that you know. All right, let's go to the next page. Pause the video and practice reading the phrases. When you're finished, unpause and I'll read the sentences for you so that you can check your work. Ready? Pause. Okay, thanks for coming back. Let's go over the phrases together. Most of the animals, just the same. That's very good. Over the river, I need help. Any old time. Our best things. My last name. Think before you act. Where are you? I work too much. Through the line. Awesome, how'd you do? All right, let's go to the next page. Pause the video to practice the phrases. When we come back, We'll check our work. All right, we're back. Let's check our phrases. Right now, same time tomorrow, a little boy, we came home, show us around, a small house also, mother means it. Tell the truth. The following day, we want to go. Form two lines. Another old picture. Awesome. On to the next page. Pause the video. Read the sentences on your own. Check your work when you come back. Welcome back. Let's read our phrases. A different land. Get to the point. Even the animals. Move over. Study and learn. Spell your name. They went here. Because we should. Try your best. We found it here. Kind of nice. I think so. Great. Next page. Pause the video. Read the sentences for yourself. Welcome back. Let's go over your phrases. Write one sentence. Put it there. I don't feel well. It turned out well. This must be it. Such a big room. Set it up. Where does it end? My dog is large. Read the sentence. Hand it over. They asked for help. Awesome. Let's keep moving. Pause the video to practice your sentences. When you come back, we'll check your work. All right, let's go over the sentences. Change your clothes. Back off. Answer the phone. The air is warm. It's still here. We need more. Play it again. Give it away. Turn the page. 
read my letters. Where in the world? I study in school. Great. Let's go to the next page. All right. Last four phrases. Pause the video. When you come back, we'll check your work. All right, you're back. Help me out. It's your place. Oops. That was a music interlude. It's your place. It turned out well. Good things. Awesome, we've gone through all of our phrases. Make sure you're practicing throughout the week. Again, great job. Practice your phrases to help you become a more fluent reader. Use a friend or a caregiver or parent to help you out. All right, thank you friends for learning with me. See you next time, bye.